Hi guys, I'm going to show you guys a nice little bait demo today. It's summer months here in Zululand in Natal and this time of the year our flat fish come on the bite, our sandies, honeycomb rays, brown skates, ribbon tail and a few other species and our main bait species we use this time of the year is mackerel, red eye, bonita etc. So certain times of the year we get these little mackerel coming in on the Natal south coast and um, Often guys don't exactly know what to do with them. It's, it's almost too small to just put the head on. Um, if you flap it all around, it's just big enough for a small bait, but not big enough for a big sandy or big honey. And I've been getting these small ones and I've experimented a bit with them. And I found one way in which I can target big fish with this small mackerel. It's very simple. I'm just casting the little mackerel hole. I'm gonna show you guys how I rig it. And if you do end up with some of these small mackerel, you can tr try them. I'm sure it's going to work well for some of the edible fish species in other areas of the country too. But during summer months for us here in KZN, um, species like the sand shark is spe is specifically, they love a little whole mackerel and that this is what works well for them. Alright, so what I've done, I've made myself a little dingle. You can use a normal soft dingle as well and use your bait needle and pull it through. But I've made mine out of nice solid wire. I've got the eye through which the hook itself is going to go and just I'm going to start off by just pushing this needle as you can see it's got no hook at the end for my sinker to clip on yet I'm going to push it through my mackerel and then after I've got the right length I'm going to bend it over and make it all clip for my sinker to hang on all right so before I put the dingle through the mackerel I want to cut this tail off because obviously you don't want that tail flapping in the air when you cast it's going to make your bait spin and even in the water it might spin around because you got the little tail on. So the first thing I do is actually just cut that little tail end off. And that's all I want to do to this bait. I want to keep it as natural as possible. I don't want to cut anything on this bait. It needs to look natural. So just that little tail comes off. All right, so we take our dingle and we want to push it through the mackerel from the mouth end. Shove the dingle down the spine of the mackerel. And we want it to come out the tail. comes right down in the center by the tail and there's our little area in the mouth where your hooks gonna go through the dingle so the next thing I do is put my hook through the dingle first before I cut anything at the back so I grab our hook and so we take our hook through the bottom jaw of the mackerel through my dingle it's a new dingle so it's been nice and tight and then through the dingle, through the top lip of the mackerel like that. And everything is nice and centered. So there's our dingle running right through our mackerel, coming out the bottom. After we've done this, I take my pliers, I cut it to the length I want it, I'm going to make it a bit shorter. And I'm actually going to give it a hook now for my sinker to hang on. Right, so after we've done that, we just want to secure the bait onto our hook because if you cast it like this now, it might just move up and down a bit. So I like to take my cotton and just wrap a bit of cotton around the mouth of the bait here to keep everything nice and together. So that'll prevent it from falling off when you're making a very hard cast. One or two wraps around the gill plates to keep them closed when you're casting. And then I go all the way down to the bottom and I do a few wraps just around the, sh the tail end and the shank of my dingle to make sure it stays in place when I cast. And I finish it off like that. Right, so there we got our natural looking bait. We take our sinker, we clip it on, and we cast it like that. So that is a nice way of casting a whole little mackerel. You can get good distance with this because everything is nice and streamlined. And in the water itself, you'll get a very good presentation of a whole mackerel. And I know Sandy specifically loves a whole mackerel, and this bait will definitely work for him.